Alright boys and girls and welcome back to another building video. The Azami takes place on a refreshing and underused footprint that quickly expands into a strong offline raid ready base with three multi TC roof bunkers on the ground floor. Growing the Azami with your team will take you to a cozy open court with honeycombed easy access loot rooms and two locker kit bed respawns per player in close vicinity. Bunkers and walls aren't the only source of strength, a spacious compound housing clever double chain link turrets will slow down offline raids and keep you in control during online raids. Three sided mobility, connecting open core and roof allows you and your team to traverse the base easily. Roof houses respawns, peak downs and head glitches, and three turrets cover the entire area below and are tricky to HV from above. Stick around to the end of the tour for the Azami's final selling point and incredibly low upkeep. Alright, kicking off the tour right outside of a Satori disconnectable, of course this allows us to disconnect our externals, uh, letting us place our main TC in the case we want to move it or uh, potentially it's been broken in a raid and we need to get it back down. Three externals on this base, giving us four TCs in total. Spreads the upkeep out, making it nice and low. Coming through our gatehouse, we do technically have six gatehouses. Each gatehouse has two beds inside, giving us a total of 12 beds and six lockers. Gatehouses let you see outside before you exit, and then there's an airlock into compound. And above each of our gatehouses, we have two turrets. Strategically placed chain link makes these turrets even harder to break and uh, much stronger and annoying to deal with. So in total, there are six of these going all the way around the base. Don't need all the turrets, you can cut that in half if you want, but if you can get them, it's going to make your compound nice and hard to breach. Of course, we've got large furnaces in here too, but we'll go ahead and head through one of our airlocks now. The base is completely symmetrical by three with only one entrance into our starter base. And on the ground floor here, we have our bunkers with three large boxes inside. Very quickly, folks, if you guys are new to building and you're looking to improve, my Discord is a wonderful place to be. Inside, we have lots of experienced builders that are happy to help out with any questions you guys could have. But if you guys would like some advice from me, head on over to my Twitch for a bit of a brutally honest review. It's hopefully rather entertaining. We do like to have a bit more of a personality over there. And to everyone that makes all of this all possible, I really appreciate you guys. Heading all the way around and a nice transition through to our main side of the base that leads into our starter core. Demonstrating that bunker again, opening closes like so, costing you no high quality to close and opening simply with a roof. Using a conditional, we can cover up all the gaps in the bunker as well, which is nice. And our starter base is definitely quite unique. However, it operates just as you would need it to. Comes with plenty of doors towards our TC. And uh, yeah, it'll get the job done. From here, we have a ladder hatch that takes us up to our second floor, taking us further into our mobility chute. Our mobility chute uh, comes with a couple more drop boxes and a bedroom. Standing up on top of these boxes and beds and looking at the windows gives us some really nice angles into our compound. And of course, you can take these windows off, add an embrasure and use that as a bit of a mini early game shooting floor. And here, we can open this door and we've got some nice heli peaks or potentially you catch someone that's laddering up on the base from here. Through our single door, we have again, mini kind of open core section, lots of boxes in here. Uh, some of our stronger boxes are gonna be kept behind windows. And on each side, we have patricos with a bed. Just now noticing, don't use the Adobe stone for your patricos because it doesn't work. I had to swap it out there. So dropping into our OC, you can see we've got lots of beds, lots of boxes, some of which are behind windows. And um, if anyone's struggling to place that window, you need to go from down here. There we go. In the center, you might have spotted a ladder hatch. And if you watched the last video, you'll already know what this is. But I can give you a quick demonstration of that now. Essentially, it's going to allow us to exploit a grenade through the floor down to our TC star base. Use that to troll your teammates, or if you're getting raided, of course, and they're down in core, they will kill them. Heading up one of our three mobility chutes, we can see more peak downs into compound. And this little low wall section here before we approach our bedroom also gives some wonderful angles. Finally, one more bedroom at the top of the mobility chute with a box and a bed and a jump up further up to kind of these extra roleplay sections on roof. Roof is covered by three turrets in total and three windmills to supply all the power inside the base. On each corner of the roof, we have some nice head glitches and peaks down across the compound. And if we jump up from our bed here, you get even more angles and a little low wall section where you can look onto the main base making it nice and tough to top down raid this base. Overall, this base is made more for offline raid defense. However, it does have some online raid ready features. Lastly, these turrets are tricky to take down from above 
making that top down even harder. Now we'll go ahead and break down the cost of the base. First of all, on screen is the total build cost. Second up is the cost split into box mounts to make it easy to visualize. And lastly is the total upkeep spread between four TCs, our main TC taking up the majority of that upkeep. If you guys are interested to get onto the build, we'll go ahead and do that now. Make sure you pick a nice flat spot because we need to multi-TC our footprint. All right, starting the base off with a four triangle footprint, and then we're gonna get a square on each side. Do not fill in both squares. We're gonna need to leave that out. Then we're picking a loot room, a TC, and an airlock. Out of those three, do it in any order you like. And that's our full starter. We can wall that in now. And throw a ceiling on top. Just garage doors in the center of all that. And your TC goes in this one over here that we've left open. And then you need to come outside to get yourself a triangle shelf. And that pretty much wraps up the starter base. Go ahead and throw down everything you could need. Bags, boxes, workbench, deployables and we'll move on to expanding the footprint. From every single square that we have, we're gonna add two triangles. Inside this little honeycomb section, we're gonna leave ourselves a twig triangle. We're gonna use that later on for placing a half height square, and it'll just be useful to have, save us some time. You'll notice that I left that hard side facing in the way, and there is good reason for that, so make sure you leave it hard side in the way. This wall that I just placed there, hard side in the way, You'll notice that on the corner, it's uh, a, bit, a little bit fatter. We've got a bit of a conditional going on there. If you don't understand the uh, science behind it, that's okay. As long as you just do it. Uh, and there's a, there's a good reason. That's why we're doing that. Super important. Make sure all of those are hard side facing in the way. And that will go the same as we raise up the base. All of those triangles will be facing in the way there. Then coming out, we're going to do this portion here that helps with our roof. Couple of raised triangles just like that, and they will decay unless you add those frames. We're doing those now because they won't be placeable after the uh, multi TC is down, so get that out the way first. And that's our footprint expanded. That's pretty much all the foundations that are part of main base. Next are our, our multi TC sections, and there are three of them. We're going to build out with eight squares in total uh, and finish off uh, with a little triangle shape here. So eight, including the one that's attached to main base there in that section, eight in total. And then we're gonna come back with four triangle half moons and we'll create that long line of triangles in a section here. And you'll see what I mean by that. Deleting everything extra that we don't need. And this is our long line of triangles uh, that I was talking about before. From there, we're gonna have a square lock and we can go ahead and work on our bunker. Depending on the height of your foundations, you might need to ramp that. Mine are quite low, so I'm going to have my boxes just on the floor. But if you've done decently high foundations, then you'll get your ramp there. Add in three boxes and then wall it in, and we'll build our square lock. Door in front there, not a window. Alright, adding in the roof here is important steps we need to follow. We're going to open our bunker to make sure we don't accidentally close it like that. Placing our roofs, ensuring that the bunker remains open is what we need to do and then follow the roof placement that I do with a ladder hatch frame like that. And you can see that gap that it leaves. No frames uh, there, or we're gonna break the bunker. So that area stays open, no door frames. Then from here, we're doing our gatehouse with our bedroom. And there's six of these in total, of these little gatehouse sections here. They're connected by these frames, and then you have the chain link. You're gonna wanna do decently higher foundations than this and that'll let you run on underneath the chain link a little bit easier. Then we raise up a section for boxes in the center and two turrets as well. Once the gatehouse is built, we can add an external TC to this. Keep in mind that everything right now will be decaying until you get to this stage. Our external is disconnectable. That's why we're doing a bit of a build out here and we'll connect it all up with frames. And uh, of course you can secure that with a window, a door, anything that you have at the time. And that's one out of three. We'll move on now. Two out of three, exact same process. Two more times to complete our footprint.
All right, that's two out of three of the Molly TC sections. We'll go ahead and move on to our last one now. All right, so that's everything down. We're gonna to need to do three more of these little bedroom sections to allow us to line up some high walls. Of course, we're doing the chain link section over here as well, and we're using this to attach it to main base so that nothing will decay. Exact same bedroom though, slash gatehouse uh, along here. And then in total, there's three of these again, uh, giving us even more turrets which is pretty nice. And this will give us a nice and easy gap to line up our high walls with too. So we'll go ahead and build all of these little bedrooms too. And once all of those are in place, it's 12 high walls uh, to cover up all the gaps in here. And it's the exact same placement every single time, making our compound really simple for you guys to put down. After your 12 high walls, it's a total of six furnaces and you're gonna wanna place them nice and tall uh, to make breaching compound really difficult. Place them nice and tall and forward in between the frames. Then we'll get our 12 barricades down, placing them like so with a slight angle so that we only need two to cover our gaps. Once all those barricades are in place, your compound is safe. And you can go ahead and throw those large furnaces on, start cooking up some metal. All right, moving on to our mobility now. This is gonna take us up from our starter base, where our airlock is. And of course, remember I had a bed in here on the tour. That wall is gonna be a bit finicky. You need to come from outside to place that. And we can just raise up the rest of the base like so. Leaving out the wall on top of the bunker. Don't place that or you're going to break it. For just now, while you're building, I recommend you just leave the bunker open. Uh, and every so often you go down and check. You've not made any mistakes that accidentally close the bunker. Continue the mobility up on our square. And cap it off with a door and that ramp there. Giving us our nice little heli peak. And then we will just repeat that uh, two more times.
Alright, that's all the mobility done. We can work on our open core now. Remember, I said at the start, these two triangles here are going to have soft side facing in the way. Uh, just like that. So these walls are all going to be rotated on the inside. And that's to give us our conditional, making sure we have no gaps along the multi-TC. Then we have our centerpiece here that's kind of walled in. And we'll divide down our loot rooms here with a half wall, uh, with a full wall down there. Ramping off all of our loot rooms with the peak of the ramp facing towards the center. Uh, still a low ramp though, not a high one. And then you'll triangle on top of that. And these are going to be our little loot rooms here. Then a window can come in front. If you can't place that window, it's because the ramp that you've placed is stone. Upgrade that to metal and it will no longer be blocked. And you can add a floor on top of them. And I'm just showing you here. The box placement is more than possible uh, with the window on and everything complete. Might take you guys a couple tries, but yeah, super simple, easy box placement. After that, we can add in a floor frame on our multi TC section. Again, that's just to make sure we're covering up any gaps and leaving that frame stone as that is the uh, the fattest um, building block that will cover up the gap most efficiently. Adding in those windows, and remember, we do Patrico those. Uh, and those are just some extra kind of like shooting floor sections around our open core. And we'll go ahead and add in the second loot room over here. On this square, we've got space for a loot room too. And you can either add a shelf with some boxes, or you can even use the role player shelf, anything you like to design this floor. And again, we are floor framing that. with our stone frame again. The frames are going off of the multi TC and then the floor comes off the main base. Just like that. Adding in a frame across the other side that leads through and a single door towards our mobility. And then we can go ahead and work on the roof jump ups. These are going to be half wall windowed, uh, giving us a couple of peak downs into compound. And you can add frames through here and a jump up. Get a frame above and place in your floors as I do, just like that. Get a floor on top of the entire open core. And I'd recommend armoring that up if you can. Alright, we'll go ahead and fix up the roof jump up here. Uh, that's going to be placed above our uh, jump ups below. Might need to shut that door to get the frames down. And remember, this is our extra jump up here. Uh, that takes us onto the highest part of our roof. We can also seal in the roof exit as well once we get those done. Just sealing in our roof exit now. And then that jump up onto the extra section of roof near our turret.
couple of low walls so we can use this to retake our roof. Because of course there is space for a bed there too. Alright, working on our roof, we're going to raise up some frames, adding in our patricos on that little shooting floor level section. And then more frames up in the center. Adding frames here and on the close side facing in towards the base, we do have a window at the top. And then the outer side is just frames all the way up. And from there we can create this spot here. And if you place a bed on these two triangles before you add in these two roofs, uh, you can have a bed on there. And if you've done the triangles already, you can upgrade one of them, place the bed and then match the upgrade and you'll have that bed on there. But there's already probably enough beds on this base anyway. But yeah, roof is symmetrical again, so we'll just do the exact same thing all the way around to finish it off. Alright, last thing left to do is work on those higher parts of our roof. So we can jump up, and remember we do windows uh, with a roof joining through the middle. Uh, so just normal windows, and then a roof slant going through like that. Once all of those are done, we're going to wall in a section here for our turret, leaving enough room for that ramp that makes it hard to hedge free from above. And then of course your windmill can go on top of all that. In the order you need to place it, it goes ramp, then turret. Uh, don't do the other way around, it won't let you. And it's just like that. And then we just do that on the remaining two sides and get our windmills down. And once all three windmills are down, uh, that will complete the base design. Hopefully boys and girls have enjoyed this video. If you did, then please feel free to leave me a like and drop me a comment down below. This base is an absolute banger, so I hope to see it out there on some servers. If you guys have got any questions, of course, jump in the Discord down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Cinebit.